Welcome to Ruminate, a podcast dedicated to diving deep into matters like identity, sexuality, and womanhood, to name a few. I'm your host, Susan Adelat, and today I'm joined by a very special guest, Mary Castillo, a great friend of mine and a rising YouTuber whose channel, Plant-Based Sweetheart, focuses on creating unique plant-based recipes, lifestyle videos, and discussions around health, especially plus-size women's issues. Thank you for joining me today, Mary. And thank you for having me on your podcast. Of course, it's a pleasure. So we're currently in the middle of November and we're inching closer into the holiday season. The holidays obviously come with a lot of joy, but they usually also come with a plethora of advertisements involving weight loss, gym memberships, and diet fads to remind us how unperfect we are. Mm. For people who already struggle with body image, it can be extremely difficult to not only navigate trying to feel joy in such an emotional roller coaster of a year, but also feeling good about yourself and your body at the same time when you're faced with this pressure to look a certain way or to fit a certain mold going into the new year. I know I personally have felt that pressure to look perfect before. How are you feeling at the moment heading into the holidays and maybe just in general about weight? Well, I mean, as a person who has struggled with weight all my life, the holidays are just the cherry on top. It's that extra struggle and stress, not this year, of course, but like the years before, even when I was younger, it was, you know, stress about overeating, stress about finding cute clothes that fit and, you know, struggling with weight. That's a big stress for me. Besides the food was also the clothes. At that time, there wasn't plus size clothes. So being young and heavy I dreaded the holidays for that reason and then you know growing older now we have more options and okay that's kind of taken off a little bit of stress but you still have the pressure of being around family and overeating the pressure is still there it's really interesting that you bring that up because I think people tend to focus on just the food but there is definitely that social aspect there as well especially you and I both being from Middle Eastern backgrounds Mm -hmm. we come from families that don't shy away from being very forward about your weight gain and nope i think it's heightened around the holidays i'm also somebody who has dealt with weight my entire life and i would often go into the holidays dreading eating something as simple as just eating eating a slice of delicious pumpkin pie i would beat myself up it was a time where we'd all gather right as a family and i have such a large family It should be such a happy moment, but instead I was filled with like guilt and I dreaded it because I knew that others would, you know, the the aunties would would judge me and say, ah, are you sure you want that extra slice of pie? Mm -hmm. And it's just not a good feeling. Yeah. It took me a long time to get to this place where I can finally stop beating myself up. I don't know if you feel that way. Yeah, definitely. You shouldn't beat yourself up. But that's something you have to unlearn, especially us because we're Middle Eastern, you know, besides TV pressuring us to look a certain way. We also have our very unfiltered family members who (laughs) push their ideal what we should look like how we should look like. And so we have to unlearn that and that takes a long time. And for some people, it happens a lot sooner. And I'm 40. And I'm still undoing a lot of the damage that I've done to myself because of societal pressure. We just have to learn to undo those ways of thinking. Yes, I definitely agree. Well, we'll be right back after this short break to ask Mary some more questions. So stay tuned. Whoa, what happened? They're having a boy. Does your gender reveal party really need those explosive pyrotechnic devices? I highly doubt it. Many wildfires are unfortunately caused by people and can be prevented by taking certain simple precautions. To find out more about wildfire prevention, please visit readyforwildfire.org.
Welcome back to Ruminate. I'm currently joined by Mary Castillo, a plant-based YouTuber whose channel focuses on cooking and lifestyle videos with an emphasis on health issues like weight. Touching on your point before the break, yeah, it's a lot of undoing this not only negative self-image, but also trying to have a better relationship with food, not labeling food as like bad, good, you know, yeah. that doesn't just have to do with the holidays. That's just in general, right? Mm -hmm. And when, you, when others make you feel bad for it, when you make yourself feel bad for it, when we're constantly confronted with these advertisements, especially this time of year, I think we just feel it more this time of year. It causes a negative association with food and what should be a happy moment, which should be a joyous thing, turns into this like horrible feeling of guilt. Pie is delicious. Mm -hmm. I wanna enjoy pie. I wanna not feel bad about it. And what is a piece of advice you could give others who may be dealing with that, who may be dealing with like, they torture themselves after just enjoying food? So, I've said this many times on my YouTube channel when I talk about my struggles. It's to simply be kind to yourself. You make mistakes. Try not to beat up yourself. You know, just pick yourself up. Try again. The more you focus on what you did wrong, the bigger it seems and the harder everything gets. And, you know, just be kind to yourself. It's okay to have that piece of pie. It's not going to kill you. It's not the end of the world. I understand that for people that are trying to eat healthy and, you know, be on that path that you feel like if you have that pie, it's going to throw you off and it's like a huge deal. And that's something, like I said, is unlearning those triggers of feeling like you ate one piece of pie. Now that's it. You might as well go and binge eat and it's the end of the world. You know, like you've messed up all all around when you really haven't. One piece of pie is not going to harm you. Part of eating better or even having a positive relationship with your body and the way you think is giving yourself that room to make mistakes. You can't be perfect. Nothing, is, no one is perfect. You see a lot of people on social media, they show you, oh, you know, look at me and my mm -hmm. perfect healthy eating. You just have to remember that's like five minutes of their life. You have no idea what's going on you know, behind the scenes. So just remember, it's okay to indulge. It's okay to mess up. You're, you're not expected to be perfect. You shouldn't, you know, put those expectations on yourself. There's already so much stress around the holidays. So don't beat yourself up. Be kind to yourself. And you know, enjoy your piece of pie. It's totally fine. Yes, I agree. I'm going to be having an entire pie to myself this year. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been such a pleasure talking with you today, Mary. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. If you'd like to connect with Mary or take a look at some of her delicious videos, you can find her on Instagram and YouTube at Plant Based Sweetheart, where she drops videos every week. I'm your host, Susan Adelat, and thank you all for tuning in.